What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Brilliant Diamond walkthrough. Okay, so in our last episode, we got through the first part of this whole area right here, and, well, now it is time for us to move on. Off-screen, I did buy a crap ton of stuff to get us through this whole area, because, yes, yeah, there, there's going to be a lot of stuff to, to, to go through right here, especially Pokemon. And I really don't feel like editing a lot of the wild Pokemon stuff. And that's probably why you guys saw less money on my on my account right there, because yeah, we, we we did a lot, okay? So now we're gonna be swapping out Pokemon right here. Let's go straight to Electrostar and Hydra, since it is raining. And let's get the show on this uh, the show on the road. And well, let's see. Here we have uh, good old buddy Rangers, uh, Allison and Jeffrey right here, coming out with a Primplup and a Palm. And, uh, well, I think I've chosen correctly right here. Look at that, my Pokemon are, are, are happy to be outside. It is raining, so it is actually a good thing for both Pokemon right here. And both Pokemon have Intimidate, so, yeah, their, their physical attacks are just going to be going down two levels, which is great. Yeah, buddy. Okay, alrighty. Okay, so let's go right ahead and, uh, well, let's see. Let's go with uh, Spark Attack. Let's go... With the, let's go with the waterfall attack. You know, let's use let's use the odds against us right here. So, anywho, guys, wow, 25 episodes already, and uh, well, this is all an effort to actually get to Pokemon Arceus. As many of you guys already know, Pokemon Arceus in January. Hopefully, we get this episode out by January or in January. Uh, it is, the, I guess, a prequel to the Pokemon Diamond and Pearl series and whatnot. And as many of you guys already know, like I'm, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna play it right here. The only thing is, my biggest issue, I got quite a few games that I'm playing so far, and I kind of want to just like, you know, get this walkthrough down to 40 episodes. So don't worry, guys, 15 more episodes to go, and we'll get something going right here for Pokemon Arceus. Now, a few episodes ago, I did kind of come out with a, a, a little bit of a theory, something that I, I kind of wanted. Uh, as many of you guys already know, Arceus was a Pokemon that we, we as an audience here in the United States could not obtain, mainly because it was a Japan, uh, Japanese-only uh, Pokemon. So the only, way, the only other way that we could have actually ever gotten uh, Arceus was through the action replay and whatnot. And... You know, it's, it's kind of a shame because it was like a missed opportunity for everybody here in the United States. I mean, Japan, they, they get everything. Obviously because, you know, <laughs> the creators are from Japan. But it's like, holy crud, man. That's a Pokemon that you probably could have gotten or it could have been like a final boss at some point for Pokemon Platinum. And, well, you know, I'm, I'm not... I'm not, like, when I think about it, it, it kind of sucks, but, you know, it, it really isn't, like, it really isn't a big issue now that, you know, we live in the day and age where we can get everything by Wi-Fi, especially on the game consoles right here. Um, one thing I am looking forward to is, I guess, the formation of the Sinnoh region, because this game is going to take place in a similar region to Sinnoh, not really gonna be called uh, Sino. I think it's gonna be like. Uh, let's see. I'm actually gonna be looking at the, uh, this online while I'm kicking some butt right here. So let's see. Pokemon. Pokemon Arceus. Pokemon Arceus. Pokemon Arceus. And uh, well, the physical moves won't work, but I do have Phantom Force that can actually help us right here. So it's called Pokemon Legends Arceus. And let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Gonna go to the Wikipedia because you know Wikipedia does nothing. And well, I gotta wait just a little bit because I am getting a phone call. So let's uh, let's go ahead and take this out, and then I'll be right back with you guys. Okay, man, I've been getting a lot of these phone calls during this gaming and stuff, and I'm sorry, guys. Okay, so going back into it, all right, we defeated these people, and trust me, it was not a long phone call. It's just, 
you know, whatever. And thankfully, it's not nighttime because we would be battling the cops and everybody else here. And well, let's see. Let's go right ahead. Now, we are going to be battling some uh, some trainers right here. But the, these little ramps right here, you have to go on your bike. And I'm look, I'm getting the lay of the land right here. Now, one one thing that bothers me about you know. Having the Pokemon roam with you is that they're always in the way, and sometimes when you need to grab an item, it just like it, you usually you accidentally press on them rather than the item. If you guys catch my drift, uh, so let's go right ahead and switch it out to you know what? I'm trying to go off of yeah, screw it. I'm gonna go with Inferno Mon Runner here because whatever. Uh, what if what does this person have to do? I saw people riding their bikes and using the log just like a bridge. Yeah, don't say. All right, let's go right here. And here we're actually... Oh, wait, whoa. You see? He gets in front of me and all that crud. All right. So here we have Bug Buzz, a very nice uh, TM. And, well, let's see. Go ahead and battle this guy. He's, stop ignoring him, homeboy. I'm proud of my Pokemon. Here, I'll show you why. Okay, alrighty, so here we go. Another Pokemon trainer, Collector Dominique. That's a pretty damn good name. Dominique, I like that name. And he's coming out with his Geodude. Okay, alrighty. So there's been something on my mind as well, guys. And that is the amount of Pokemon that I've actually been capturing and all that stuff. Yes, uh, during my time off, I will be trading some, like, some, uh, what was it called? Um, some, some version exclusive Pokemon here and there. You guys only see me do one, one trade, and that was for my Alakazam. Uh, right now, like you know, at the position that I am right now, I'm just like stocking up on videos, especially for Pokemon Brilliant Diamond. Um, I'm still thinking of a team that I want to, I, I really, really want to use, and I really want to just dominate the whole thing. We've won three badges so far on a full team. People have been saying, "Get Kid Thunder." I'm trying to locate that dude. Um, Hell, I might even go on a, on, on YouTube and look let's look for, or I might go like I'm gonna go online just to figure it out right there. Because if we can find Kid Thunder around here, then hell, yeah, hell yeah, we're gonna be using this guy. I mean, it's been a while, and well, look at this. Okay, all right, we defeated another person, and yeah, look at that. Okay, you don't feel no good anymore. All right, so let's move on right here, and we are gonna be taking on some fishermen right here. So. This is a good a time as any to swap out our Pokemon and go with Rosemont. Now, a Pokemon that I've never ever thought that I would be using, it would be uh, it'd be Rosemont or Roselia because to me, it started off in Pokemon Ruby, Sapphire, and Emerald, and it just it wasn't really much of a Pokemon that I thought I could be using. Plus, you know me, guys, I don't really use Grass type Pokemon because. I don't know. It just to me, it's just weird. It's a it's, it's a weird type type of type of Pokemon. They're not the big the biggest hitters. They're more of the healing reg uh, regenerators and um, I guess the status effectors and all that stuff. And you don't really see me doing that very much. You see me just doing brute force and stuff. But right here for this walkthrough, I'm trying my best to actually just incorporate every uh, er, like a you know every little flavor around here. So here we go, Barboke, Barboach. You know I need to get that Pokedex Pro just to. Know, pronounce this guy's name. So there it is, another Giga Drain for the win. Now there is another Pokemon around here that I would love to get, that I know I could find around here. And that is uh, that is that is Quagsire. Now we've been through this quite a few times in in both Pokemon Crystal and now in the Heart Gold. And that is that you know Lucky hasn't been getting a fair shake out of everything. So. I don't know, that might be a Pokemon that I might want to use for the remainder of this adventure or just train up just to get to where I need to be. This game, from what I see, is enabling us to just, like, you know, to train our, uh, to have multiple teams. Hell, not even go through the whole uh, training, the, the grind to get the final forms of the Pokemon and all that stuff. So, there we go, we have defeated another trainer right here, and well. We're going to keep on doing this. We have a few fishermen right here, but I kind of want to see what this is all about. And there we go. Let's go right ahead and go through here. And yeah, you see, I'm trying to find a, an item. Crap baskets. 
Okay, this is getting annoying. This is getting really annoying. Okay, you see what I mean? I'm trying to locate... Uh, I kind of feel like there's an item right here. Hold on. There's an item beside me that I can actually see, but I'm talking about an item that I can't see. So let's go right ahead and uh, do that. All right, let's see. I know that at the Great Marsh, this radar does not work properly. Yeah, there's yeah, there's nothing right here. What about here? Yeah, there's definitely nothing. Okay, so that was incorrect. And well, let's go ahead and start going back through this whole location and start beating more fishermen. Uh, let's see. Now that scyther that I have on my in my PC, this guy has me intrigued because, like I said, guys, I've always wanted a scyther on my team. I've always wanted to just use them and and and, and show them off and whatnot. But it, it's like, in what game? What game should it be appropriate for? And I think this is probably the game that, that I, I'm probably going to be doing a, a scyther right here. And well, look at that, another another friend playing a game right here. Fola, how you doing? And there you go. Mm -hmm. Look at that. Look at that. Okay. And, well, here comes another Barbouch. Barbouch. And, well, it's a level 19. So we're going to be we're gonna be definitely, uh, like, using up that Giga Drain right there. So here we go again. Giga Drain for the win. Yes, this Pokemon is just thriving in the rain and all that stuff. And... Well, there we go. We have defeated another fisherman, and he is not happy. Definitely not happy right here. So, let's go right ahead and switch out our Pokemon right here. Swap the Pokemon. Let's go with Electrostar. And let's go. Let's get off our bikes, because sometimes being in a bike is being very, it's very inconvenient. So, let's go ahead and start battling some more trainers right here. Now, I kind of want to, I, I kind of, um... Like, to be quite honest, guys, I've never seen the, the legendary stuff or any kind of spoilers for Pokemon Brilliant Diamond. That's how far off I am with this whole thing. I don't necessarily think it's a little... It's different from um, it's different from the original games. I'm, I'm kind of feeling like this is still, like... It's a remake, but it's still, you know... There's just maybe a few things here and there sprinkled in that will make it look like a remake, but... I don't. I kind of. I kind of get this feeling that like there's not. It's not much different from the original games. If you guys know what I'm talking about. If you want to spoil it for me, go right ahead. Shoot, I don't really care. Um, so here we are. The shards. Okay, the shards place. But before we do that, we're gonna be battling this person. There are Pokemon that become more powerful when it rains. You don't say. Okay. So here we go, taking on Parasol Lady Alexa, and she's coming out with her Goldeen right here. Look at you. Look at you, Goldeen. You, you looking like a... You looking like a, you know... Well, you looking like a Goldeen in all that, right? So, yes, Electrostar is using his Intimidate, and, well, let's see. Let's go right ahead and use a Spark Attack right here. And Spark Attack does its trick right there. Holy crud, okay. And just like that, Goldeen has been eliminated. And Rosemont grows to level 33. So, yeah, my, my team's looking pretty good right now. And it looks like the reason does have a team that, you know, can thrive in this whole rain right here. But they're not... Oh, yeah, well, they're, they're going to be fat. One of them is going to be faster than us. Now, another Pokemon that I was thinking of probably using was Weasel. But then I realized that, yeah, be like, there are so many other Pokemon out there that could work that are probably better than this guy right here. So, there we go. And Alexa has been defeated. Okay, alrighty. Alright, so let's go right ahead and see what we got in here. Now, this location, you talk to this lady. If you find 10 shards of the same color, please let me know. I would gladly trade you for a technical machine for them. That thing, the thing is that we do not have 10 shards. I don't even think we've collected any shards kind of BS right there. Okay, so as you can see right here, you guys know it. We all hate it. It is the, it's it's the Great Marsh. Kind of the Great Marsh and all that stuff. Not really the Great Marsh, but it's a marshy area. It's a swamp. And we all know how much we hate it because, well, yeah. 
it stops us and all that stuff. So I'm going to try my best to get the heck around this area. And luckily we do have repels to just stay away from the, the, the spots that just like really, really makes us uh, want to kill ourselves. And like right there, holy crud. Now this game has made it very, oh crud. This game has made it very uh, clear that they want to bug you. Yeah, it's a bog. Yeah, they made it very clear that they don't want you to find the actual holes in the bog, so we're going to stay away from that. So here it is. We got ourselves TM06 Toxic, and that move is going to be put to good use at some point. So here we are. There's a Pokemon Rangers, and he's like, you keep up with us. Okay, all righty. So here we go. Here we go. We're going to go up against a Lucio in Crap Baskets. We're going to be doing the whole... Uh, yeah, we're going to be doing the whole, uh, whatchamacallit, uh... <laughs> yeah, we're going to be doing the whole, whatchamacallit, Intimidate right here. Holy crud. Okay, alrighty. So, it might be a risk, but I'm going to do a Volt Switch right here. That way I can get a trade-off. Bam, hits his Pokemon. Not very effective, but it lets us switch without losing a turn right there. And we're going to be going with Hydra. Now, this is a risk because Hydra is both a water and flying type Pokemon, plus it's raining. And this Pokemon is an electric type, so that's a, like six times the damage. But yeah, this guy's stupid enough to do bite attack. Really? Really? Okay, so here we go. Bulldoze attack. Let's go. All righty. Okay, so there goes uh, Luxio, and uh, Luxio has been defeated, and yes, look at that, we got our Shell Bell, just giving us one HP, more experience points, Electro Star growth to level 34, and well, here comes Weasel, let's go right ahead and go with Rosemont right here, just finish it off, let's go ahead and finish everything off right here, alrighty, 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 here we go, Rosemont, and Rosemont taking on his Weasel, and well, Rosemont, uh, you know, waiting for the directions right here. So here we go. There goes a swift attack. So here comes a Giga Drain for the win. And Weasel, no more. Okay, alrighty, alrighty. And just like that. Okay. And, well, Taylor has been defeated. He's just like looking. He's like, oh, wow, the energy burn. Yes, it is an energy burn. Okay, so let's see. There is an area right here that we can actually explore that needs cut. And we found a, ourselves a revive, which is always nice to have. I think we're towards the very end of this whole location. Holy crud. I thought it was going to take a little longer than that. It was. Okay, so going ahead and we're going to get some peanut berries. And get the peanut berries again. And let's get another peanut berry right here. And just like that, we got three peanut berries. There it is. Look at that. Okay, so let's go right ahead and press this button and go straight forward. And like I said, it's oh god dang it, it's very hard to position this whole bike right here. And let's get off the bike right now because yeah, difficult. And crap baskets. There are gonna be some trainers right here that you know we kind of don't want to battle, but have to because there's more items around this area okay so let's go right ahead and let's go ahead and use an ultra psycho right here okay and this person might be a psychic I think I don't know okay so here we go oh no it's a science scientist and well scientist does have an abra so that right there could be a bit of an issue Maybe. I don't know. We shall find out. But look at that. Abra versus Alakazam. Big bro versus little bro. Holy crud. Okay. So, let's go with the Psycho K. It is a physical attack. It should, it should work. And it does. Okay. I'm not afraid of that. Yes. I am not afraid of that. Holy crud. Okay. And, uh... They're coming out with a Kadabra. So, this one is actually a good one. So, let's go straight to Pennywise right here. And... Let's see, is there anything else? Oh yeah, yeah, the Pokemon Arts this game, yeah. <laughs> totally, yeah, totally uh, steer clear from that conversation. Um, do you, I don't think there's gonna be any trades, right? 
Yeah, there probably isn't going to be any trades around uh, in Pokemon uh, Pokemon Legends of Arceus because it, this is based off like back in the day. And yeah, I was looking up the location. I'm starting to remember now. Hold on. Hold on. Where's the location? Before I got a phone call. You got to love being in, uh, in somewhat of a, of, a, of a freaking relationship right there. Okay. And so here we are going to Bulbapedia. Good gravy. All right. Let's go ahead and move on. There's some more trainers that we need to actually battle. Wow, there's always a goddamn catch. And let's go through the... Okay, let's grab that. We found ourselves a zinc. See? All that for a zinc. God dang it. Let's go ahead and battle this chick right here. While we're battling, let's go ahead and find the location of this whole place right here. Okay, so... The, 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 okay, so we are going to be in the Hisui region. So this is basically... Let's see the... Okay, so I'm going to read it out for you. I know that I'm not really good at reading this shit. So, let's go like that. So your adventure is set in the expansive natural majesty of the Hisui region in an age long ago when it was rare for Pokemon and Pokemon to live, or people and Pokemon to live in close harmony. In time, this land of Kasu will come to be called Sinnoh, a region you may know very well. Mount Coronet rises from the center of the Kasu region, surrounded on all sides of areas. Oh, look at that! <laughs> Ultra Psycho is learning Psychic, so hold on just a sec. Uh, you know what, we're going to switch that out because it's, it's still a physical attack. Anywho! Uh, Mount Coronet rises from the center of Hisui region, surrounded on all sides by the areas with the distinct environments. Each area is rich in its own natural features and place hosts a different Pokemon ecosystem. One such area is the Obsidian Fieldlands, which is rep replendent with gorgeous flowers, verdant vegetation, and what? Or hold on, hold on, hold on. What's uh, let's see. What's more, it appears to uh, team with Pokemon that favor meadows and forests. So. The Hisui region, so I'm, I'm only assuming that this place was a former Hisui region, and it's going to be a backstory to how Mount Coronet became vital to the Sinnoh region, which is pretty cool. It's very cool. And then you're going to get some regional variants too, you know, Hisuian, uh, Hisuian Breviary and uh, Hisuian Arcanine, that's another one, or Hisuian, uh, Hisuian Growlithe. Now, there, there should be an item right here. Hold on. Hold on just a sec, guys. Let's see. Yeah, as you can see, okay, so it's up in the top corner right there, but if we get onto these marshes right here, guys, it, you know, it's very apparent. God dang it. Come on! It's very apparent that it messes up with our radar right here, and I can't... Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and... right here okay so should be right here somewhere oh there we are okay so we're just a few steps close there we go okay so it's a little closer right around come on press the B button Jesus criminy okay Okay, we're close. There we are. We found ourselves a rare candy, something that we probably would would be needing. I mean, I haven't used any of my rare candies just yet, so that's that's also pretty good. And I need to get the heck out of here, because good God. Anywho, here we are in Pastoria City, guys. Finally! Okay, so we're not really going to do anything. We're just going to be going straight to the Pokemon Center, because, yes, Pastoria City. you got to love this place right here. So... Here it is, guys, Pastoria City. In the next episode, we're going, to take in, we're going to be taking a nice visit to the Great Marsh and everything else in between. Stay tuned, guys. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, Merry Christmas. Happy New Year's. Whenever this video comes out, I'm pretty sure it's going to be 2022. But I'm thanking you guys for watching my channel and uh, supporting and all that stuff. So thank you guys again. I'll see you guys next time.